All right, everybody, this is episode 12 coming at you live. This is Mark Maddie drawing a face. I don't know where we left off this time. I did not do my research, but I do need to fix this harsh change of color. And I do need to actually, yes, I do need to continue blending the color. I'm going to just start blending the color underneath that line. Just like our little right technique we've been doing this whole time. We're going to color match these two points coming up here because they're so close together. We don't want to have a, a weird color change there. Just like here, we'll do the same thing all the way across. And then when we get there, we'll go all the way back. So we just did that like three times and you can even see the divide right there can, between the line we blended and the line we did not. And it's time to keep going further down. Now I just like to say even though we're 12 episodes deep, the real true purpose of this tutorial that I'm doing or it's really the purpose is to be like a walkthrough, almost like watch me do it because I feel like I can say all the words in the world and you'll just be like, how did he do that? You know, so like being able to show people what the process really is. So now I'm just going to blend upward because I just want to match the line above it a little bit. I just want to stop right here and just talk about what we just did. So I just did a lot of blending back and forth, up and down, left and right. And I still left that one line out and it's looking pretty good so far, I would say. Like between up there and then down right in here. Very smooth. Um, just going to fix that area soon. And then we'll work on fixing this edge and blending that into our main face layer. All right, so we just have to go a little bit further. We still have to color blend a little bit more. Um, just gonna get right to it. I just wanted to undo that. I don't know how that happened, but I will not let that happen. That needs to stay uh, a dark, dark line like that. So I'm just going to stop fast forwarding here because I'm just having some weird color changes that I'm not necessarily a big fan of. I understand that it's smoother, but I think that's a better look with the harsher highlight. So I'm just going to leave it um, like that. I didn't like how I lost that shadow, so I'm going to revert on that. I'm not going to mess with that line. Just 
gonna go I'm gonna go back hit every point and then go to the right it's gonna go gonna go back the other way one more time let's see what we get we just want to be careful with the important details that we're not screwing up our important value like our harsh shadows our deep blacks we just want to make sure that maintain that we keep that detail because those super highlights those highest points of the face the eyes these certain little things like dimension make a big difference in the realism that is portrayed when we when we are finished So I'm just trying to get rid of this weird crevice streak that I've created for myself. I'm going up and down, left and right. I'm not just going back and forth between the lines. I am blending upwards and downwards all around to really extend the color out. See, now we're really, really eliminating it right now. It just needs a little bit more. It just needs a little bit more. And we'll be good to go, I think, on it. All right, so I'm just gonna fix this line over here and see how much uh, more work I have to do with this uh, harsh transition in color over here because of the complex grid down here and then the not so complex grid for a, a little bit over there. So it's causing this harsh change. I'm gonna clear this up area. Uh, I'm gonna clear this area up right here. I don't like how there's a random shadow patch. All right, I think if I just fix this, then it'll look a lot better. Because I think everything else looks fine, but I I kind of like how, I don't I don't really like this random highlight blob. All right, it's pretty much gonzo. Just gonna blend this to the left and up a little bit. Just wanna touch up the this highlight here. I just undid that. I don't really like this little, I don't like that. I 
think if I just fix this little spot right here with this extra green, I'll be pretty happy to try and start blending. I still wasn't happy with this spot, so I'm going to start grouping points together and selecting color because I guess there's just too many points. So I'm going to blend this a little bit. Because that is the direction of our points, the way they flow. So we're going to want to we're going to want to blend with the direction of the lines. On the, in this case, because we're so spread out. So we're going to give it a horizontal run here. I just feel like now we're still harsh right here. I think we're going to need to add a line and then we're going to have to blend between so I'm kind of blending right now in a angled fashion I'm trying to blend but I don't want to mess up the curl and I think it's working I don't want to mess up the curve of the nose, but I need to get this a little smoother with this trend of light moving upwards on the nose around the bend here. And I think by going and blending in this direction, I'll get a better look. I don't want to completely eliminate the shadow on the bottom of the nose. As you can see, it kind of, I actually like it. It is visible. I think we need to move Maybe these up a little bit. Now we're going to blend again upward. And then we're going to blend downward. I'm just going to bring all these points in a little bit. I feel like the shape of the nose. I'm also going to grab this right edge too. So I can bring them all in at the same time. Right now I'm holding shift so I can select all these points. So you can see now I only have... Oh, I'm missing this point right here. I undid that. Now I can grab. I missed this one too. So now we can have... Now we have this. So I'm just going to bring... I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. And then I'm going to take these points. And I'm going to bring them in just a little bit. I just felt like I was losing some roundness and I think I just did, I think I just improved it. Yeah, I think that looks better. But I think the whole nose is looking pretty good right now in general. I like this up here and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, what's going on right here right now. And uh, I'm going to leave it. And I think I'm just going to fix this right here. What is going on right here? That cannot happen, okay. What we need to do is that. We need to move these handles, but this should not, this needs to come, come down now. This is just so bright. Aha, figured it out. All right, so we're gonna leave it like that because we're gonna blend the exterior next time on the next episode. I'm going to then try the color blending slash opacity dropping technique on the edges. You can select each individual anchor point and then lower opacities individually within the anchor points themselves in the mesh which comes in handy when messing with a lot of shapes within the mesh to blend really. 
so that's it for episode i think that yeah 12 <laughs> we're getting there we're getting up there in numbers my name is mark demati you can follow me at well on instagram m-a-r-k-d underscore a-r-t-s that's marked underscore arts and thank you for watching please subscribe if you've been liking these and just like the video and maybe tell me if you like what's going on if i'm doing this nicely or the videos are good and i suck at speaking but you know whatever is fine one step at a time but thank you for watching hey everybody sorry about this but this is actually the end of episode 17 this is a quick jump in time but anyway since we're working on the nose right now i wanted to include the edits that i made in the future in the nose episode so this is what my nose currently looks like in episode 17 and then right here is currently what you guys may have when epi on, on episode 12 with the nose. So if I click back you can see the detail difference. Pretty much I made it less flat. I felt like as I went you know further in time I just like was kept questioning if it was too flat and it was. So this is really what I've done to the nose and it looks pretty dang good right? So this is what the mesh looks like, and I'll even outline mode it for you versus what's the outline mode here? This is so long ago. Nose. I did add a few different points, so you can like screen cap that or something if you need to freeze it. Um, but yes, I did add a few more points. But anyway, that is a quick jump in time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.